All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well, that you're having a great day. In this video, the value of Cardano's treasury reaches $100 million. Taking a look at how Charles Hoskinson wants to win over Fortune 500 companies, he explained in an interview his strategy in Africa and also how he plans on bringing enterprises into Cardano. Over the past weekend, there was the Ergo Summit, Ergo and Cardano teaming up to explore key DeFi challenges. And last up, taking a look at the new Plutus Playground. Very interesting to see this. Developers are invited to test out the improved smart contract tools before the final release for Gogan. So all that coming up here in this video, right after our sponsor. A big thank you to Lovelace Pool. One Love has been helping Cardano stake pool operators since the incentivized testnet. They are a stake pool that is dedicated to the growth and adoption of the Cardano network. One Love has been helping stake pool operators set up their pools, answer questions in the chats, and being an overall great resource for everybody in the Cardano community. Their stake pool is currently sitting at just over 2 million ADA active stake, and we like to get them at least up to 30 million ADA active stake. So if you're interested in supporting a committed stake pool operator, and if you wanted to help decentralize the Cardano network, be sure to check out Lovelace Pool, ticker 1LOVE, one love. A big thank you to Lovelace Pool for helping many members in the Cardano community. So to get things started, taking a look at this article, we can see that the value of Cardano's treasury reached over $100 million. This was back when the price went up to touch about 39 cents back on January 8th. Since then, we've definitely corrected a little bit, but still, it's an incredible milestone to see that the treasury for Cardano has hit that big milestone. At $100 million, it would be the largest decentralized blockchain treasury on the market. The goal of the Cardano treasury is to provide funds to help develop the Cardano blockchain through the voting process. We're seeing that happening right now with Project Catalyst. People are able to submit ideas and proposals and ways to bring value to the Cardano blockchain, and this treasury is a way to be able to fund those proposals. The Cardano treasury is funded through several different ways, including taking a percentage of stake pool rewards and transaction fees, holding back a portion of newly minted coins, and accepting occasional donations or charity. So with this treasury, this is going to be what is going to fuel the growth of the Cardano blockchain as time goes on. Of course, with the rise in price of Cardano, the entire network will become more valuable, essentially just creating a cascading effect, essentially creating a system that builds on itself to provide even more value to those who are within the network. As far as Project Catalyst, where we are right now, we are currently on Fund 3, where we'll see $500,000 worth of ADA distributed to select projects that are approved for funding. So this is going to be an ongoing thing now with voting on Cardano. People are able to submit ideas and proposals, and the ones that provide the most value and that the community feels deserves to be funded will actually start to see those being implemented with the use of the treasury, bringing even more value to Cardano. Next up, I wanted to take a look at this article. Recently, Charles Hoskinson had an interview with Forecast News, and he talked a bit about winning over the Fortune 500 companies. Now, Fortune 500 companies looking to expand more into developing economies in Africa and the Middle East need a faster and cheaper payment system for local transactions. That's essentially what they're trying to solve with Cardano. And of course, there is a highly anticipated Africa deal in the works. Still haven't gotten a full-fledged confirmation with all the details. I will be sure to keep you all posted. If you want to stay updated for that content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know exactly when I post that video. What we're seeing right now with cryptocurrencies is that a lot of these institutional players are taking a keen interest in a cryptocurrency and wanting to get involved. So now a Fortune 500 company needs new tools to be able to get into this market and work with these consumers. What Cardano is building right now is essentially a platform that is going to allow these businesses to bring value to those who are living in these lesser developed economies. In Ethiopia, for example, one of the countries with the highest potential for economic growth, as well as crypto adoption, has a population with more than 70% under the age of 30. So the idea behind it is that they can bring value to those who need these financial services. 
Charles Hoskinson stated that if they can keep this momentum going, 2021 is expected to be one of the most productive years in Cardano's history. Charles said that if we can keep this momentum and extend it, we're really going to give Ethereum and the rest of those guys a run for their money. So I think with the rollout of Gogan, with all the things that are anticipated, with the Coinbase listing, PayPal, Cardano is really setting itself up to have a spectacular 2021. Now, a key question to this is how do we attract the Fortune 500? So now what we have to do is ask, how would you like access to the 100 million customers on my platform who now have the money and would like to consume your products? That's essentially what they're doing. They're trying to open up this market by using Cardano as the platform to bring financial services and many other value propositions to those who need it most in Africa. If you want to check out a cool video that we put together for Cardano in Africa, be sure to click on the link that's posted up here at the top right. Uh, really cool video that we put together. I really enjoyed making it and got quite a few nice remarks from members in the community. So definitely check that out. Share it far and wide if you wanted to show off the vision behind Cardano in Africa. Over this past weekend, we saw the Ergo Summit take place. Now, Ergo and Cardano are working together to explore DeFi challenges. What we're going to expect after Gogan is a lot of these DeFi protocols taking a look at what Ethereum is facing in terms of the issues in regards to stability and scalability. And they're going to look at Cardano and say, why not just move over to Cardano? So one of the projects that is being worked on right now, Ergo, is actually partnered with Emergo, one of the parent companies behind Cardano. What they did with this summit was they talked about a few different things that we're seeing within the cryptocurrency industry, namely talking about DeFi. So 2020 proved two things. Decentralized finance is here to stay and the significant challenges still remain. The Ergo platform was launched in 2019 by former NXT and IOHK developer Alex Chepernoy. What they discussed was how they can collaborate with Cardano in a partnership to explore solutions that will further both platforms and the DeFi space as a whole. One of the most exciting developments from this summit was that the team unveiled the design of a new stablecoin called AGUSD. Based on a model that brings the benefits of simplicity, security, and full decentralization. I wanted to just briefly take a look at the GitHub for this stablecoin. This is the Emergo Age USD GitHub repository. And one of the key concerns that this protocol addresses is that it does not rely upon a CDP. A CDP is a collateralized debt position, and it's one of the most popular ways of generating stable coins currently. One of the most prominent DeFi players in the space right now is MakerDAO. In an event known as Black Thursday, CDPs were triggered for liquidation due to market volatility and then sold off for $0 due to blockchain congestion, which prevented others from bidding. So what they're doing is they're taking a look at all the problems that we've seen with DeFi and being able to use these platforms, and they're addressing these concerns. So now I would recommend this if you're interested in learning more about this stablecoin. Um, this could be an entire video in and of itself. It's pretty deep and technical. So I would recommend you just give this a look if you are interested in learning more about this. The AGUSD protocol was inspired by static coin protocol, however, redesigned from the ground up to fit the EUTXO model. It's the extended UTXO model while providing several improvements to drastically improve the stability of the stablecoin. As such, we reap the benefits of avoiding CDPs while overcoming some of the pitfalls that the static coin protocol ran into. So pretty cool. They're also doing some awesome things with Oracle pools, bringing in outside data from the real world into blockchain to use in smart contracts. So interesting stuff that they're doing with Ergo. I would recommend you check them out and looking forward to see all the progress that they make with the stablecoin. And last up, if you all stay till the very end, this is exciting news for developers, those who are interested in starting to build on Cardano. Introducing the new Plutus Playground. So this is essentially a tool that allows developers to start tinkering with these dApps and start writing these smart contracts. Gogan is going to bring about native token support along with Plutus and Marlow. So now developers will be able to write these smart contract applications which can then be deployed onto the blockchain. 
course, this is a phased rollout release, so we should see this being fully implemented very soon. This essentially is a way to test the functionality of this tool. So if you are a developer and if you wanted to give this a go, I would recommend it. There is also an IOHK video showing this if you are interested in looking at an example. But essentially what they're doing here with Plutus Playground, Plutus Core is the smart contract language embedded into the ledger, and it's based on Haskell formal programming principles and allows developers to write high assurance applications that interact with Cardano. With Cardano being peer-reviewed scientific research, Haskell was the programming language used to deploy smart contracts to ensure that contracts are programmed to do exactly what they're expected to do and can be tested for accuracy before implementation. So this is really exciting. I know that this has been in the works for a long time. There is also the Marlow Playground, which allows for developers to write financial smart contracts. And the Plutus Playground is for people creating decentralized applications and smart contract programmers who wish to work with Cardano. Essentially, who is this for? It's going to be made for companies, governments, the Cardano community and ADA holders, entrepreneurs. Really, if you're interested in building applications on Cardano, this is going to be a great way to get started. Now, it is recommended that developers with a bit of experience give this a try because right now they're looking for feedback. They want to test the functionality to see if everything is working how it should. But nonetheless, if you don't have any programming experience, it's still recommended that you check this out and see if it's something you'd be interested in. Plutus Playground works through your web browser and there's no need to install software. There are tutorials on compiling and simulating smart contracts written by the Plutus team. So I'm gonna be checking this out as well, just uh, seeing what it's all about. It's very interesting now that they've put this out there. Something that I find very interesting is that the interface is split into three sections. So you have an editor, simulation, and transactions. The simulator shows how a contract will behave on the Cardano blockchain, which is very important as it's going to be used to act as a training tool for people who don't have the advanced developer skills because it demonstrates the working principles. So I like that. You know, I've thought about quite a few different things. The simulator is more realistic in the way it runs Plutus applications. And as previously, it can be linked with GitHub accounts to save contracts and any work in progress. So really cool to see this. If you're interested in giving this a look, be sure to check out the article. Link will be in the description. You've got links to the Plutus Playground. You've got links to the Plutus GitHub repo, the Cardano forum. So this is a great place to get started. I will be sure to leave a link to this article down in the description below. All right, everyone, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. Lots of cool things to look forward to with Cardano. I'm very excited about all the developments happening. If you did enjoy this video here today, please be sure to drop a like for me. And if you're interested in staying up to date with Cardano content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, everyone, thank you all again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.